Okay. Well, uh, all right. Well, I thought this might have been live or close to that, and it's pretty obvious that it's not. Also, I really don't like the look of this website. It's terrible. Uh, with that being said, I just need some content, to be honest. And actually, and that's what people, that's what you guys and gals want. You just want a bunch of new projects, and then you obviously want to hear my thoughts on it and what I'm, I, what I personally would be willing to invest in and not, and the reasons why. So I saw this in the Elite Discord, and you know, I think this is probably on what the fork as well. Uh, with that being said, I honestly don't know what I want to say about this. It's like, there's just so many problems. <laughs> uh, but it could be legit, and I mean, Caesar Finance doesn't exactly look like the greatest website either. It's clean, right? It's very simple and clean, which is why I like it. This one is simple and, like, kind of disorganized and, like, very confusing. So, it's a small red flag. Uh, but when you actually click the home page, which I thought it would take me to, it would actually take me to their Discord, which has all these people in it. So I guess the first, I didn't really do much of a check, but the first I would check for is, is it actually real people in Discord, right? Uh, number two, they seem to have a very small dev team. There's only like one and a half, or I say one and a half instead of two, because I mostly see Demeter uh, posting everything, and there was another guy posting and the announcements like a, like just one or two so again i want to stay away from small developer teams all right i want to see i want to see people right running a project not a person all right or a couple of people i want to see at least a few which means three or more and three is already pushing it so i think this thing is not launched yet they kind of released some of the token contracts i guess and all i really have to go by is their really crappy looking uh, documentation which really just doesn't have much so basically this is like a seifu fork really oh, i already clicked that right this is basically kind of like more of like a seifu fork however i couldn't find any documentation about the uh, apy going down over time so i really don't know I really don't know what this is doing. It might always just be this uh, giant number, right? 380 whatever. What do they call it? Oh, jeez. I wish they... Yeah, that's another thing, too. The website is just really shit right now. So, what is the effing APY? So, 383... I'm just going to write 383% a year. And it says in one year in year one i don't see uh the thing declining so i really have no idea about anything right um there's an auto so I, as you can see there's a reason why i'm not investing in this project there's just zero clarity on anything all right so you have your auto token burn of two and a half percent i can't find anything else i assume it's going to be just like safe food protocol because it does say somewhere that there's going to oh yeah down the tokenomics and then you can look at the treasury which doesn't really say anything right if you look at the treasury, where it says 3.25 million meters uh, maximum supply. So I assume they're going to do the same thing as Seifu and RingFi. You got buys of 14% and sells of 16%, right? You could look at the thing here. Initial liquidity is this. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, they're going to do a whitelist pre-sale with a highly transparent system. So you can invest anywhere from 1 to 15 AVAX. It's only for whitelisters, of course. And you can buy tokens for liquidity. So this might be okay because I was already about to say this could be a scam project. But they're limiting your contributions. It could still be a scam project. And they just happen to be smarter about it. So that's still this is still very much a risk. Otherwise, you could just invest whatever this shit is. Again, me personally, I'm just going to pull down on it. I'm just like... I rather I rather pay more money for an actual legit project, all right? Because right now I'm just getting sick for a legit safe project. Because right now I'm just getting sick and tired of like all this crap that's going on, right? Like two forks are doing shit overall. Phantom is doing shit, right? And it's pulling everything else down with it too. Like crypto is pretty much shit. All right, I haven't checked in like since I started doing videos an hour ago. Let's see, any improvements? No, of course not. All right, I don't know what's uh. I, 
Like, right now, everyone just doesn't know what the hell they're doing, all right? Like, everyone, people are buying bonds. The dollar is going down. A little bit of the stock market's going up. It's like, who knows what the hell's going on? Yeah. I mean, there's a, some kind of weird fear trade going on, too. But it could also just be because bonds yields have just gone straight up a little too quickly. So now some people want to buy some bonds, I guess. <clears throat> so, anyway, here are the details. In fact, the pre-sale is today apparently so and it's going to be uh listening to trader joe of course and they say they if they lock the look that if they lock the liquidity for 90 days then it's probably a kind of safe whatever so i don't know i mean this is really all you have to go by like everything is just bad <laughs> everything's just bad except the pre-sale so funny enough which is the most important part so i have no idea about anything uh, about the apy because they literally don't tell you anything right it's not in their documents because they're obviously just did like a very shitty job with it did the minimal minimal amount of work the lowest but maybe some of you are very desperate for seifu because ring Fi went through the roof seifu obviously is still popping off so maybe you want like another one of these i'm gonna stay away from it like you know i'd rather just get something legit but so and quite frankly, I'm okay. I'm, I'm perfectly happy with Titano and Liberal Forks, right? I'm perfectly happy with stuff like that. So, you know, because I really would just prefer to always have that 1.9 or 2% daily, right? Before the taxes, of course. Uh, forever. I'd rather just have that. But, I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't mean to say that Seifu's take on Titano Forks, right? Where you start very high and then you drastically lower it and you got the max supply. That doesn't make it bad either. It's just not for me, right? But I, I'm always willing to keep an open mind about it too. But right now it's it's just not for me, you know. So, but for so for a lot of you, you're willing to take this risk, right? Maybe try to. I mean, I don't think you get the whitelist anymore. I don't know. Maybe you can take a look at this project too. But anyway, I think I'm done for the day. I do actually have quite a bit of uh, content to add. Right, I've got five more projects, right, because Sphere and High Point are launching at any day now. At least Sphere is launching, hopefully, today. Uh, I haven't seen anything new on the announcements yet, but Sim's working very hard, obviously. So I feel kind of bad for him, too. So, you know, also, you know, he and I have been together pretty much since Metaverse Pro days. So, you know, I mean, we haven't had to say anything on Discord, right, but I could just pop in the DM, you know. But... You know, it just kind of sucks to see that kind of, you know, stupid shit happen to people you personally know, you know. Because at least when I raged out yesterday when I couldn't buy the thing, I never blamed Sim or the devs. I blamed Polygon, right? I th Polygon really is, you know, deserves some of the blame too because they promised all this shit. And then when I actually tried to use it, it's like, what the hell? Even Phantom doesn't have this problem. I'm like, well, Polygon is just as shit as all the other assholes. It's like, I hate Layer 1s. I hate Layer 1s so much, right? But this is the early days of DeFi and crypto, right? It's just like what the internet was in the 90s. Because I grew up in... I basically remember the 90s because I was a little kid before the 90s. I don't really remember much. But in the 90s, I remember very well, right? That, that was when a lot of things were happening in New York City, right? We had Rudy Giuliani literally clean up the city and was great again. But that's also when the internet came out and we had Command & Conquer towards the mid to end of the 1990s it was like the best time of my life right so the internet back then was also just starting to come into come into play so everybody was using stupid dialogue right and, that, and everything was changing so yeah the internet was shit back then but we still had to do it because that's all we had and it was still awesome right like kind of like what that's exactly what's happening in crypto right now right so i don't know as much as i don't like bottle it brooder in hopefully when you know he really does come out with the beacon chain shit than all these other copycat, copycat clowns, AVAX, Polygon, Phantom, etc. can also do the same thing in addition to their own little scaling solutions. So anyway, uh, that's pretty much it for me today. We're, you know, we're going to have a little more content coming out this weekend. And I'm sure uh, once I run out, I'll just check what the fork, XYZ, of course. Because they stole the name of a different, uh, apparently a cooking blog or something, uh, name recognition. I'm surprised they haven't been taken down for trademark infringement, but I guess they don't really care. I mean, nobody cares about, I mean, Trader Joe doesn't care about Trader Joe XYZ, so, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, and of course, I, because I, I was, because I was a little concerned that maybe people in the elite Discord were just like, man, fuck all these new projects, I'm out, right? Because I haven't seen much, I, 
ver verbal activity in the elite discord about new projects so well you know they passed on to me this one for the whole group right um but yeah i'm gonna avoid this project personally it obviously has got like a lot of graphical problems it supposedly has like 5,500 people plus, uh, I, I, it, I, I don't know, right? I'm thinking it could be fake people. But on the other hand, their whitelist does limit buys because usually if you're a rug pull, you want to take as much money as you can. But, you know, whatever. I'm so strapped on cash that, you know, there's just not, uh, I actually just wound up putting 56 bucks in the printer financial on the Binance Smart Chain version, so. And that's going to earn me 5% a day, roughly a little more than that. We'll see how that goes, right? The, the, the ink shares on, on, on the Binance Smart Chain version is already like 10 bucks something, right? So it's already pretty stable. So I'm pretty confident about that. Yeah, it's like, you know, and I, I still haven't withdrawn money in my bank account. Like, you know, I have bills due in 25 days, right? I need another two grand. <laughs> so, you know, and crypto is going to do shit all the way between now and tomorrow at like 1 to 2 30 p.m when the stupid federal reserve speaks so we'll see all right so i gotta catch up with greg manorino i gotta go for my walk it's already 10 a.m i haven't even listened to jesse pearson i'm getting a little i'm not really agitated but i don't know uh, let's see if plan b's got something positive to say 20 ounces of gold uh, okay, whatever. I don't feel like doing any math anymore. The Econ Committee of EU just voted against uh, proof of work ban. Great. Yeah, I mean, I already know about that. I tweeted that out. The only sell other great data products via proof of work, non energy based crypto products like proof of stake must be deemed to be securities until proven otherwise. Banning digital property would be a trillion dollar mistake. Uh, and fuck you, man. Because that this directly hurts us. I don't, man, fuck. Man, fuck you, man. Unfollowed. Man, fuck you, man. This is a direct attack on... I, I really wish I could find the replies on this. This is a direct attack on all DeFi. Fuck. Fuck you, man. No, oh, I already said that. Fuck off. Oh, this, this, this is fun. I'm trying to make this grammatically correct. All right, all right. Yeah, I always had a problem with Michael Saylor. I was willing to tolerate it because he went on Tucker Carlson, said all the nice thing about Bitcoin. Man, fuck this guy, man. Piece of shit. I also don't like that Plan B's retweeting on either, but. Proof of work mining, blah, blah, blah. Petrodar versus Bitcoin. Mm hmm. All right, you know, actually, maybe he's getting, uh, maybe he's getting ratioed here. Uh, yeah, he's also very pro-regulation on Bitcoin and crypto, and he thinks it's a good thing. So you know that I really don't like that. Okay, Bitcoin Forever Machine. He didn't get, uh, yeah. All right, well, uh, all right, well, okay, well, I was hoping maybe uh, have a pick-me-up, but I guess not. I guess not. All right, well, that's just how it goes, but fuck him, you know. Yeah, it should be a, yeah, well, guess what, you know, then that means Bitcoin's a security. It's just such a stupid statement, man. So he's basically throwing like, all non-Bitcoin coins under the bus to maximize Bitcoin. I fucking hate, this is why I don't like Bitcoin maximalists or any kind of maximalist because of shit like what Michael Saylor just did, all right? And it gets amplified by Plan B, which is very disappointing to see. You know, I'm not quite ready on follow plan B either, but, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see. We'll see. This is why I need you guys to like, subscribe, share, and blah, blah, blah. Because if I had like 100,000 or a million subscribers, like real people, right, I could push back against this. So you got to like help me, help yourselves, and help everyone else, right? I do this shit for free, but it's really because, you know, we all need to get rich together, right? I can't do this without you, and you can't do it without me either, right? Well, technically, we can do it with, with just God, but how many of you really believe in him, right? You know, and I don't mean just like, oh, intellectually. It's like, you know, you have, you have the actual faith. Do you, act, do you actually take the actions? I'm actually kind of really annoyed, actually, with this. Oh, great. 
Well, what a way to end the video, but that's okay. I mean, now we know he's the enemy, right? At this point, he's the fucking enemy. Michael Saylor, that is. Right? I mean, I want to go... I mean, I don't know. Do whatever you want. I'm not going to say anything that might get me banned. But, yeah, fuck you, Michael Saylor, you fucking little shit. All right, I'll see you all... Uh, let me see. Well, I got my Firestone Night RPG to do, so I think that'll be it. Uh, I would like to take tomorrow off as well, but I would like to get try to get through this content queue too, because I want to aggressively grow this channel. Uh, closing, I just need another 600 watch hours too on my YouTube, and then I can apply for monetization. Hopefully, I mean, it says that's not generally a problem that I have a warning on my YouTube channel, because I don't have any strikes, and I haven't had one in like a long time. You know, plus I cleaned up the YouTube channel, and they can clearly, and when they, when the human, because they actually manually review everything on my channel, they'll actually see, like, oh, you know, he changed his content, and look what clearly works. Oh, and look, you know, this actually makes us a lot of money. Yeah, just approve the guy. So, you yeah, know, because, because YouTube now actually wants to also approve people who actually can make the money, too. So I know this channel definitely brings in the effing money. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you actually are watching ads, trying to watch my videos because i'm not getting any of that revenue i'm supposed to be getting that revenue all right so anyway i guess check out the meter finance uh it whatever little is there right i'll definitely link to this um what passes as a documentation page then you can join their discord i'm not going to put out a link for the discord you just have to go to the website and click this link on the upper left corner to picture so that you'll get something like this so I don't know. I'm going to stay away from it. If I'm really that interested, maybe we could revisit it in like two to three weeks, right? And then I'll hear about it in the Elite Discord, and I'll do an update video, you know? Uh, maybe I should actually cover RingFi as well, so... Because I don't think... I haven't heard anyone say that they rug-pulled, so... Yeah. I don't know. I mean, maybe... maybe uh, I'll add it to the queue. Why not? We need we need the content, right? Ring five plus Titano forks are also hot again, so because obviously tomb forks are bleeding out money like you wouldn't believe. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, it's actually really important that you do that, right? It's not just to boost my numbers, which is really nice, of course, right? It's it's to fight against shit, stupid shit like this, right? He literally just said well, we all need to be regulated except Bitcoin. This fucking asshole, Michael Saylor. All right, that's why. That's why I always wanted to be famous, not because I have an ego, right, well technically I have one, but I didn't care about being famous, it's because I need to fight against this shit. You guys can't do it, but I can if you help me, right, so that's why you gotta spread the channel around, you gotta like put it everywhere, right, your Reddit, your Facebook, your whatever, because I don't have that, I just have Twitter and YouTube, because I technically have Gab, but I just don't have time anymore. I'm also getting older and slower, I also know I've been getting fatter because I tried a different diet, it's actually adding pounds. So I gotta make adjustments to that. So I gotta worry about my health all the time, right? I haven't had any problems yet. Hopefully it stays that way. But you know, I got my hands full. I need I need your help. So thank you. Subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. Post it everywhere on social, right? Don't be a spammer, but just post it, right? You know. And um, I think I should see you guys and gals tomorrow. So all right. So yeah, now we we know who the enemies are. All right. And we're finding out every day. I was kind of hoping it would not be Michael Saylor, but that's okay. There will always be another, like Yoda said, right? Well, God actually said that too, or it was Jesus Christ. No, it was one of the three. Well, I know Yoda said it, but I'm sure Jesus and God said the same thing too somewhere.